Should I take vitamins? Today, Dr. Hermosa will be discussing this topic and sharing his take on this often asked question. Dr. Hermosa is a board-certified internal medicine physician who has been in practice for over 20 years. He has treated thousands of patients with vitamin deficiencies. Alrighty, like the man said today, I'll be reviewing vitamins. So I'll be letting you know whether or not you need a multivitamin or one of these other vitamins here. So I'll be giving you my take on who I think needs one of these vitamins, which one, and why. And then at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you what supplements I take. Actually, the best part of this video is gonna be after the video. So I'll be showing some behind the scenes bloopers type clips. So make sure you stay tuned. It'll be fun. By the way, I don't take anything on this list. So about half of Americans take either a multivitamin or another vitamin or mineral supplement. And how much do we spend annually on these? Well, billion dollars. Multivitamin. Multivitamins. This is the biggie. This is the one everybody wants to know about. Should I be on a multivitamin? So here is the verdict on multivitamins. Multivitamins do not decrease heart disease or cancer. Multivitamins do not decrease a decline in your memory. And most importantly, multivitamins don't prolong your life. So here's my recommendation on multivitamins. You don't need them. You don't need them. So here's what I do recommend. Instead of taking a multivitamin or another vitamin or mineral supplement, I recommend a diet that's high in whole grains, such as whole wheat, barley, or brown rice. These provide the necessary vitamins, minerals, and good fats. Next, I recommend cutting down on your saturated fats. So these are things like butter, whole milk, ice cream, and oils, such as coconut oil. Next, I recommend a diet that's high in omega-3 fatty acids. So where do we get these omega-3 fatty acids? That's right, we're talking about fatty fish. So we're talking about tuna, salmon, mackerel, you can also find these in walnuts, canola oil, and flaxseed. Vitamin B12. Vitamin B12, so who needs vitamin B12 supplementation? Well, if you have a documented low vitamin B12 level, or if you're at high risk for having a low B12 level. So who's at high risk for having vitamin B12 deficiency? You've got the elderly, vegans, vegetarians, and also those with a GI malabsorption issue. So I recommend those patients at the very least have their vitamin B12 level checked. So who doesn't need vitamin B12 supplementation? If you're young, if you're healthy, if you don't have a documented low vitamin B12 level, come on, man. Quick break. If you like this video, hit the like button. Or if you like this type of content, subscribe. Or if you know someone who might like this type of content, tell them about it. Back to the video. Vitamin C. Vitamin C deficiency? What does this cause? Scurvy. Lethargy, skin spots, spongy gums. This man's got scurvy. When's the last time you had citrus? I had a mimosa at brunch a few years ago. If you know anyone who has scurvy, or hell, if you know anyone who knows anyone who has scurvy, please tell them to take vitamin C. If you're taking vitamin C for its antioxidant properties, or for that matter, vitamin A, stop it. Stop it. Studies have shown that you can get just as good antioxidant effect from foods that contain vitamin C. And this one kills me. If you're taking vitamin C to help prevent the common cold, no! Vitamin Excuse me, Dr. Hermosa, quick question. Does it taking vitamin C in combination with other vitamins and minerals help prevent macular degeneration from worsening? And aren't people who smoke or have certain types of cancers more prone to vitamin C deficiency? Wouldn't you recommend vitamin C supplementation for these patients? So yes, smokers on average do have a lower vitamin C level. So there's two reasons for this. Number one, studies have shown that smokers consume less vitamin C in their diet. And number two, cigarette smoke causes a heavy oxidative burden on the body, thus using the body's vitamin C supply. And yes, some lung cancers do cause a low vitamin C level. And actually, almost any solid tumor cancer can cause a low vitamin C level. And yes, vitamin C, in combination with certain other vitamins and minerals, 
does help prevent the progression of macular degeneration. So to answer your question, yes, I would recommend vitamin C to those patients. I got nothing against vitamin C. And by the way, thanks for your participation. Vitamin D. Vitamin D, we all know vitamin D is necessary for healthy, strong bones. And since our body makes vitamin D from direct sunlight, who's at high risk for a low vitamin D level? Come on. You got it, the elderly. And also those who live in a geographic region that doesn't receive as much sunlight throughout the year. And also those who are heavily pigmented are gonna to tend to make a little bit less vitamin D. Personally, I have a number of patients who are on vitamin D supplementation, but these patients are elderly and they have either osteopenia or osteoporosis. So for these patients, vitamin D supplementation, definitely recommended. Vitamin B9. Vitamin B9, what is vitamin B9? You got it, folic acid. So the CDC does recommend 400 micrograms of folic acid every day for those women who are of childbearing age. So why is it so important for females who are of childbearing age to take folic acid every day? Because it can help prevent some major neurodevelopmental issues, especially of the brain and the spine in the growing baby. So what foods are high in folic acid? You've got the green leafy vegetables. You also have peas, beans, nuts. And you can also find these in bananas and strawberries. So that's my take on multivitamins. Vitamin B12, vitamin C, vitamin D, and folic acid. What do you think? Do you think I'm FOS? That's a medical term. Full of stuff. Anyway, let us know what you think. Let us know what you take if you feel comfortable. And tell us why. And let us know if it's working for you. So as I promised earlier, I'm going to tell you what supplements I take. I take two of them. Do I have good reason to take these? Damn right I do. First supplement I take, magnesium. So why do I take magnesium? Well, if you saw my very first ever YouTube video, you know that I have restless leg syndrome. And magnesium does help quell some of the symptoms of restless leg syndrome. So along with taking Primapexol, which is a prescription medication for restless legs, I also take magnesium. Seems to work. Why not just eat foods that are high in magnesium? <laughs> All right, the, the, next the next supplement I take, potassium. Why do I take potassium? Because I don't follow my own advice and I don't stay hydrated and I am prone to some hellacious cramps. And if anybody out there has ever been awakened at night by a leg cramp, you know what I'm talking about. So along with taking potassium, also try and stay hydrated. Doesn't always work, but I keep trying. So that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching, I do appreciate your time. So once again, if you like this content, hit the like button or subscribe. Or if you know someone who might like this type of content, tell them about it. And I'd be remiss if I did not thank my lovely wife, Demetria, for making a cameo in this video. Thank you. So until next time, stay safe. Alrighty, vitamin twee. <laughs> vitamin twee. Do I need vitamins? Bam. Doctor, should I take a multivitamin? Or what about a or what about a or what about a vitamin? What about a vitamin? Do I need a vitamin or a mineral supplement? like celiac sprue, also take a daily vitamin B12 supplementation. No, not B12. <laughs> so here's my final take 
on multivitamins. You don't need them. Come on, man. Come on. Quick break. If you like this content, hit the like. Quick break. If you like this type of content, if you like this video, quick break. Quick break. If you like this video, hit the like button. Doctor. Doctor. What about the antioxidant properties of vitamin C? No. 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 Vitamin B12? What is vitamin B12? You got it. Folic acid. And actually, the best part of this video is after the video. So I'm going to be posting some after, this, after the scenes. That's going to make it onto the post scene. <laughs> so I don't sound too dazzling. Uh, doesn't taking... Oh, dang it. Okay. Hey, Dr. Hermione. Oh, wait, oops. Sorry, right, messed up. Why not just eat foods that are high in magnesium? <laughs> hey, baby. Hey, Daddy. Yes, Mama. Okay. Daddy's almost done, baby. I will be out in just a few minutes, okay?